Spanien. I brought my water with me because it's like very humid outside. Is it hot in here or is it just me? Do 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 do. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. Yo. Tell me, fellas, have you seen her? It was about five minutes ago when I seen the hottest chick that a youngin never seen before. I say, yo. Girls, I wanna meet her. Uh, on second thought, that ain't the way to go. I gotta give a game proper. Spit it so she get it. Then she is, I gotta stop her. Or should I talk about her smile? Or what about her style? I'm out of time. She's out the door. I gotta go for mine. I think I see yo. I don't know your name, but excuse me, miss. I saw you from across the room. And I gotta that you got my attention making me want to say yo i know you're trying to leave but excuse me miss i said the last dance for you how i love to keep you here with me listen to my heart go bottom boot up yeah. bottom boot up in my heart go bottom boot up bottom. it just won't stop it Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. I'm Georgia. So if you're new, welcome. And if you're not, welcome back. Today we have a special guest. If you guys have been watching my channel for quite some time, you guys may have known Alicia. So today we're going to Flamingo Gardens. It's in Davie. So it's like 25 minutes away from the house. So we're gonna go ahead and check that out. And then you guys are gonna see our fits, you know. Yeah, we did a quick, um, what's it called? Is that get oh, ready? Oh, get ready with me. So, yeah. you guys will have a full detail of that in the description box. Yeah, follow us, guys. <laughs> All right, let's go. Tell me your secrets, let me in. I see the pieces when I begin. You got a heart. Wrapped up tight, unravel your layers, show me a light. Every breath you take, I hold it close. Share your world, let me feel the most. Unravel for me, let your feelings flow. In this connection, let our love grow. Together we'll shine like the stars above. Unravel for me, show me your love. With you, it feels like a dream. Whisper your worries, let them scream. I'm here to catch you. Just take my hand. Together we'll rise, make our own sand. Let down your guard. Love is the star. Unravel for me. Come heal your heart. Unravel for me. Let your feelings flow. In this connection, let
ready? Oh, I like it. It look like your workout. I'm come. Oh shit, that look good. That look good. Yeah, that look good. No, it look funny. Look at Oh fuck. <laughs> Another one. That look good, right? Yes, we landed. Okay, go again. We gotta do that exact pose. Watch out. I'm gonna turn to the side. Yeah, girl. Go on. Look at Queen, I got come down for you. Look funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, them, look there. This bad. Mm -hmm. Wow. Guys, so we are at the Flamingo Garden right now. And I brought my water with me because it's like very humid outside. Um and I'll show you guys how it looks. Wanna be ex? What way too good to be friends? Can we still hang on the low girl? I don't wanna be, I don't wanna be your hit your boy up with a text when you're alone and feeling stressed. Said I ain't gotta be in love with you to love you. If it's not real, it's not real. I don't wanna <laughs> be it, so don't treat me like you hate. Yeah, mango for them. Go on, I'll use them. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I can't count up the time you blow my life. Yeah. That's been on my mind a lot lately. Yeah. No one leaves the At last, it feels so good in here. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Ooh, this is cute. I ain't trying to break, but nobody can match me. Yeah, she kind of great. You know she my baby. You could keep it talk. My ears are kind of lazy. Nobody tell me nothing. Uh. You can't tell me nothing. Uh. You can't tell me nothing. No, you can't tell me nothing. So. We're here right now at the gift shop. Over the bridge here, either side, are exotic birds like parrots and toucans. Uh, this area here is our birds of prey: eagles, owls, hawks. Yeah. Like that. Mm -hmm. Squares are aviary, so that's our woodland bird. I mean, our um, wetland birds like pelicans and things like that. Ease where the flamingos actually are. Thomas. Peacocks are wherever they want to be. Mm -hmm. Our flamingos are here. Uh, six is our tra our tram station. So every half hour. Okay. There's a narrated tram ride. Mm -hmm. You get on the tram there yeah. and they, they take you all the way around and bring you all the way back oh, and they tell you all about the property. Oh, wow. So okay. the next one's at 2.30, 3, 3.30, like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this area is our big animals from our Florida panther, alligators, bobcats, river otters, our American black bear. So big animals here. Yeah. And next to the flamingos also is a cafe. Mm -hmm. And then okay. number 10 is a museum and number 9 is a gallery. Okay. And, they, and both of those are air conditioned. Okay. Oh, so feel like Thank you. Good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank Thank you right. so much. Have a good time. Thank Enjoy. you. And they have pumpkin patch. They have pumpkin patch. Yes. Oh, catch me right here. Why does it look nice? Yeah. You can take me a picture right here, Zoom. Yeah. Uh, four times, three 
Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah. Oh my leg crash is so It's so pretty. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at those birds. Oh, they're so pretty. Oh my God. I only see these on TV. What is it doing? Bad birdie. The bird that you got all for for go away. Alicia, come look on the peacock. Alicia, come look at the peacocks. Listen, guys, the time is so hot. Hmm? It then uh, um director's mode. Oh, mm. Which way you this way. Oh, the fun is for certain people. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, dear. Wildlife encounter bird spray. We are going right there, so. Where? The animal exhibits. So, so now that's why you come. You see? We're at the right place. Let me say the um, Makuko, come this way. Yeah. I'm going to take a picture right here. So. Oh, wow. Yeah, girly. Yes, definitely need that picture right there. All right. I missed him. I'm going to come right here, so. And I'm going to take some pictures. But sorry, so we never bring the big um tripod. Mm -hmm. The long one. Take some pictures. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Flamingo Gardens. My name is Dr. Rob. I'm going to be your guide and tram driver this afternoon. How many of you are here for the first time? Oh, wow. Welcome. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. And those of you who are returning, thank you as well. 
those of you who are here for the first time, we are a nonprofit wildlife sanctuary and botanical garden. As a wildlife sanctuary, all of the animals that you see, whether they're in enclosures or whether they're walking around, they are wild or were once wild, albeit they are generally uh, human, not imprinted, but certainly used to humans being around. But they are, are all rescued animals. We have months where we take in over a thousand animals in one month, and most of them are rehabilitated by our fantastic animals into the wild to live the rest of their natural lives. If they can't, they're welcome to be here. We also have a breeding program. So, uh, for example, we have a pair of red-shouldered hawks that have had over 18 clutches of viable chicks, and those chicks have all been sent back into the wild. As a botanical garden, we have doors or windows, so please do stay in your seats at all times. And the tram trail is narrow at points, so also please keep your arms, legs, hands, feet, ponytails, mustaches, beards, eyelashes, and belly buttons in the tram at all times. Thank you very much. Ready? Here we go. And on the driver's side, which is to your left if you're facing forward. I hope you got a glimpse of Buddy the Panther on the passenger side. He's in that glassed-in enclosure. He is six years old and is representative of our endangered panther species. At one point, we had less than 100 panthers in the wild. And now, thanks to the restoration of the Everglades to its original north-south flow, we are up to over 350 in the wild. And our birds of prey off to the right on the passenger side. And beyond the flamingo pond is our animal exhibit. We have alligators, bobcat, turtles, and tortoises. We have otters, and we have Josh the bear, an American black bear. And this lovely white house on the passenger side is the Ray House. Mr. and Mrs. Ray came here from Illinois in 1928 and founded this place. They wanted to see what would grow in the Everglades, and they also started the orange trade. They're the ones that brought citrus to Florida. My favorite tree in the garden on the passenger side. It's a banyan tree from India. As I make the turn, we'll be looking at some fruit trees. First is papaya up here on the driver's side. They're a little green, not ready to eat yet. We have a cannonball tree. Out in the lawn on the driver's side, these large trees are called lychee nut trees. They actually produce a small grape-like fruit and not a nut. They are from China. We have a giant iguana right here on the lawn. See his orange color? That tells me he's very, very old. They start out green and then turn grayish, and then finally this burnt orange color. He's an old guy. Or gal. <laughs> this is our banana plantation. Bananas are not trees, they are plants. Their stems are compressed leaves. Very different from the dark, regular bark that you're used to on a regular tree. Out in the lawn, this V-shaped tree where my laser pointer is pointing right now is the jackfruit tree. See that fruit hanging on the side right there? And there's another group up above. Ooh, it's have jackfruit on right it. Right in here. Really? Yeah. yeah. Jackfruit is the largest hanging fruit in the world. Can be over 100 pounds. Good idea not to take a nap under a jackfruit tree. No, all these plants and trees are from Colombia, Brazil, Hawaii. We do not get enough rain here in Florida, if you can believe that. And we also have hurricanes. So there's no monkey highway, there's no canopy. If this was a true rainforest, my windshield wipers would be working full time and I'd have my lights on. It would be dark and wet. However, these trees and plants do provide something that all rainforests provide to us on Earth, and that is oxygen. 
So take a nice deep breath in and a nice deep breath out and fill your lungs with beautiful rainforest oxygen. That was not a good one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, these little tiny hills here in the Everglades are called hammocks, and that would have been the only dry land around. Everything else would have been surrounded by very slow-moving water. This little hill or hammock, hamaka, is Mrs. Ray's gift to the garden. She calls it wild and primitive Florida, and this is what Florida would have looked like before the schools, before the housing developments, before the shopping malls. Like, this is probably her land. It also would have been the classroom to the indigenous people's children. They would have learned about the animals, the plants, and especially plants like this beautiful tree, the gumbo limbo, the, art, the reddish one with the peeling bark. I call it the Florida tourist tree because it looks like it's peeling red skin from a sunburned tourist. But actually the salve underneath that bark is a cure for sunburn. This is Lake Flamingo, our man-made pond. It is where our animal care people test out their rescued animals, their rehabilitated animals, to see if they can survive on their own in nature. And if they can, they are released to live their natural life. And if they can't, they stay here and have free food for life. Surrounded by mango trees, so close your eyes, make a wish. Yeah, I wish I had a million dollars. <laughs> I am going to stop right here and give you an opportunity to walk through the cactus and succulent garden all the way through the butterfly conservatory. And I will pick you up in about three to five minutes at the other end of the butterfly conservatory. You are welcome to stay on the tram if you like. But I do encourage you to get out and have a look. The butterflies are pretty cool. I want to see the butterflies. Come on, let's go. The water almost done. Let's go. Woo! That's a lot of mango trees. I told you to bring water. The man said, I'm gonna take it out. But he said, when we leave, um, we're supposed to meet him on the other side. Look at the lizard. I don't see a lot of butterflies. Oh, there's one. Oh, look at these. 
So that right there was the butterfly sanctuary. There wasn't a lot of butterflies in it, so but we did see some. Okay. We release about a thousand butterflies a month and we use those butterflies and the larvae and the chrysalises to teach school children about the life cycle of the butterfly. Please do keep your seat until I come to a complete stop. Bye, y'all. We're going to the Flamingo. Yeah, over here. So. Yeah, but there's like so much people right there. Oh, look at that tree over there. I had to free up some space in my thing. Oh, look at those flamingos. They look so pretty. Damn, my phone. Come on, phone. Come on. Now free up in the Oh, house. my God. I need a picture. You're gonna buy food and feed them? Huh? No more to be picture. The time is hot. so hot. We are burnt and I got a tan. Yeah. Okay. We got sunburned. I got a tan. Have you ever seen black people with a tan before? Well, black people do get sunburned. Yes, we do. Yeah, but those are for me. Oh my god. This feels so good. Wow, this feels so good. Alright, we can get ice cream. Yes, please. You know they had an ice cream place back there? I know, but I want to Let me see if we can turn this. Huh? Yeah, guys. I am so hot. Like, look at my face right now. It's like sweaty. Hi, right, Alisa. I don't think I should get ice cream because then it just make me hot. You don't want that? All right, we can get it. I'm getting one. For sure. The SpongeBob? Okay, who can do that? Yeah, but oh, me I gotta eat the ice cream and dry. Okay? You don't have to. Yeah, because the time I look, I drink water the whole time and I'm still sweating. So guys, we're ending out the video. Um. Listen, the time is burning up. The time hot. 
like the thing is, Florida is is just, no joke. We just had a hurricane, and I don't see where where was the hurricane. Well, right here, because some people have damages and stuff, you know. But I'm eating a popsicle, and it's hot as hell. Mhm. Mm yeah, I'm like. I have my water cup with me and it's not helping like this was filled to the brim when I came out of the house and now it just have ice in it but yeah did you enjoy yourself I did it was fun it was a nice little walk um, experience <laughs> we saw some nice animals birds and iguana and butterflies it was a nice little experience. I enjoyed it. At least I walk lean. I do. Yeah. I'm like walking and you're like bouncing in me. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> but yeah, guys, I'm tired. I'm starving. I'm starving too, but we, we have a reservation at 6.45. So we're going home, shower, makeup, hair, and get dressed for a reservation so stay tuned hit the like subscribe button this is part one of our weekend okay all right guys thank you guys for watching um and as always make sure you guys go ahead like the video share the video subscribe and also leave a comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next vlog bye bye guys